Yeah, 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 yeah. What's really happening? It's your boy OG Jigavelli with another episode of Street Code of Conduct. Today's episode is entitled What's a Real OG? Before I give you all my definition of what's a real OG, I'm going to tell you how I became to be called OG Jigavelli, right? Um, this last time me being locked up, y'all haven't uh, really known my story or you're just not getting up on me. This is your first video seeing me. Um, I'm going to give you the backstory on me. First, let me plug my book in, right? My book, Pressure, is my full story of me growing up in Miami. You know what I'm saying? The time that I spent inside of Florida prison, boys, school, juvenile halls, the streets of Miami, all in this book right here. My second book, I ended up writing on my last bid, which I just finished up in the feds, 16 years. I, I gave y'all federal pressure, my experience um, inside the federal system. Okay, with that being said, y'all could get both books by going into my bio and hitting the link tree and um, go to Amazon, but you also could inbox me for your copy. I autograph it with your name. I put a um, bookmark in there. It may be another gift or so, but you have to see. So listen, man, the last thing I ever thought was I was going to be an OG. Just like y'all young cats that's running the streets right now, I know how y'all feel, man, because I've been where you at. I've been in that situation where everybody and everything around me is saying that, you know, you're not going to make it to 21. You're not going to see 21 when all my partners are dying around me. All my partners are catching life sentences, which is like dying alive, going to prison. So it really seems, you know, I, I, I really feel y'all young boys in the streets. I really feel y'all more important. I really do because at the end of the day, I know how it is to feel like you don't have anybody, right? So when I was in the joint this last time during these 16 years, it was my first time feel, you know, experiencing the feds, right? And I'm going to tell you, so that's why I named the book Federal Pressure. It's a whole nother level when you go to the feds. Everything begins with a double-digit sentence, especially if you had a criminal history in the background like I have and you stood on the code. Y'all know I got that stop that snitching written on my forearms. This, uh, this ain't something new, so that means I went in there and set the responsibility for my own actions. I end up getting 262 months. You do the math, and that's 21 years, eight months, ten months, something like that, whatever. I I, I never kind of I never even claimed it because when I went into court that time, I went on here and surrendered to God's plan in my life, right? And I turned I turned myself over into my dean. If you've been following me, you also know I'm a Muslim, and I don't you know man. My religion is everything to me, right? So um, when I went in, like I say, man, um, as time went on, my grades started coming in more. Um, I started aging. I went in at 31. I came out at like 45, 47. I ended up doing 16 years. You do the math. I'm not trying to calculate it. It was a lot of time. I ain't never think it was in. But I had faith that God was going to make sure I didn't do the whole, you know, the whole 21. While I was in, I was helping guys get their GED. I was, um, you know, speaking, I, I, I would always have conversations with the young guys, especially the ones that I seen that had potential in them, and I, and I wanted to encourage them to go out and not repeat, you know what I'm saying, the cycles that I was repeating, in and out of jail, in and out of jail. So with that being said, a lot of the young guys started referring to me as OG. OG. At first, I was like, you know, like, nah, that, that ain't me. And I just go in and go in my cell, look in the mirror. And I had to accept that I was becoming an OG. And with that became some responsibility. The young guys were saying that out of uh, out of respect. They weren't saying that as, you know, a dish or a disrespectful call. They, they were saying that like, man, you know, you been you you one of us and you have made it to see your gray hair. You made it to see, you know what I mean, past the age that they say that we don't pose to see. And with that, with, with knowing that, I embraced it. A lot of my, a lot of my peers, a lot of guys that was my age that was in prison, they were still trying to fight against that process. Even though they was aging, they wasn't changing ment mentality wise. They wasn't growing mentality. They were staying right there at the same age they make came, that they came into the feds. They would still be running around like the young guys, still you know making some of the same mistakes inside the prison, going in and out of the hole, which is the shoot. You know what I mean? When you catch write-ups and stuff like that and I would watch the older guy these some of these same old guys uh, when I go to try to talk to them or tell them what my plans was when I went home 
first thing they used to be like, man, these them young guys ain't they they not gonna listen. They was already giving up on y'all. Right? So I kind of like I'm already kind of like giving you a definition of what a real OG is. A real and I'm gonna just get into it with definition wise. A real OG is not somebody just because they done some time or they got some gray in their beard or they're in the streets active. Oh, it's it's really it's really the, different from that. If you find an older guy in the streets actively, when I mean actively indulging in the dope game, indulging in the club life, indulging in hugging the block, that that's that's not an OG. I'm gonna tell you right now. He's not a, he's not a, he ain't no growth in Cause you're gonna find real OGs. You're gonna find us out of the streets. Don't want no part of the dope game. You know what I mean? Teaching the young people. Trying to prevent a young guy from making the mistakes that we made. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna find a real OG not stamping. Some of the some of the foolishness that y'all are doing out here, some of the some of the mistakes that y'all are making out of ignorance. Some of y'all are making them just out of pure ignorance. Some of y'all are making them out of, you know what I mean, following other peers, following your partners. Right? But whatever the case may be, a real OG gonna pull you up and say, yo, young blood, you ain't gotta do that, man. Young blood, that ain't G right there. He gonna be calling you to the things that really matter. Taking care of your family, raising your kids. You know what I mean? The different laws that you need to be aware of. You know? A real OG, he's not going to be calling you to go make a play. Put a lit or dry or spin the block. He's not going to be trying to get you to you know, go to the club and get the section and make it in rain. A real OG, you're not going to find doing those things, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. Them, them signs right there, you can already write that brother off as... Over 40, over 30 something or whatever, and in the way. He's not leading. You know what I mean? He don't have anything to offer himself, let alone another young cat that's coming up up under him. Most times he's following the young. I, I see a lot of times I see they, they release, you know, you see on Facebook, you see on Instagram, you see on places, and then they have a, a lineup, or you go to Google News and they'll say, well, um, the um the FBI or the or, or, or the feds just picked up a RICO indictment of and it'd be twenty certain twenty or thirty or ten um photographs of mud socks of a whole group of people being RICO, right? In a drug conspiracy or whatever, right? And you start looking over the age groups and you see 21, 17, 22, 23, and then you see that one or two or three guys in their forties and late thirties, right? And you, 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 only thing you can ask yourself, what is this person thinking about? I guarantee he got a, a, a lengthy uh, criminal history. How he find himself in that RICO Act with all these young kids? He hasn't matured. He hasn't accepted the responsibility that he has, right? And them people y'all need to stay far away from. That y'all need to stay afar. That, that's a sign of someone that's not a real OG. Or someone you don't need to be referring to as unk. Because that's the new way. That brothers, they, they, some guys, they don't call you OG. Like, what's up, unk? I get that all the time, too. I know my responsibility. That's why I created my platform, man. And a lot of times, it, my platform, sometimes I go live and it don't be as active that I would like it to be. But I don't let that discourage me because I could, as soon as I feel like, you know, I'm not getting received the way that I would like to get received. Here's that one guy inbox me. Or here go that one guy pull up on me at the gym. Or here go that one guy see me out, you know, see me out and about. And, and they'll approach me. Hey, OG, you be making them videos on YouTube. I seen you, man. Hey, man, man, listen, man. I, you know, it's just, it's just the poor of, you know what I'm saying, the respect that I receive. Those little encounters right there keep me going. You know what I mean? And like I often tell them young cats, you know what I mean? Anything that they're trying to do, all you can do is plant the seed, tend to the seed, but ultimately the creator, the most high, is the one that causes it to grow and to produce fruit. That's the process. Don't get really in the process. Anything that you strive to do, anything that you start, stop trying to do God part of the process. I had to learn that. That's why I keep on 
keeping on with my message, my book, my platform. If you don't know already, my platform is Veli Life. And the, the Veli part of it stands for Vision, Empower, Leadership Initiative. I'm, I'm, I'm out here in this culture that we find ourselves in with likes, following, and you know what I mean? Just the social media just to sit, everybody want to go viral. Everybody want to, you know, just they want they want that motion. We get caught up in that and we lose our identity. We lose our authenticity. Who we really are. And we become copying. Being like if somebody putting skits up, doing this, doing that. Here you go. 20, 30, 40, 50, 1,000 people doing the same thing. The music done got like that. Everybody rapping the same way. The same, you know what I mean? Whatever is trending. We're not getting more um, more people being themselves, the authenticity of them, bringing it to what they're bringing to the table uniquely. So I be encouraging that part of you. And that's what an OG pose do. Encourage you to be the best you. Not to encourage you to be the, the, the one that's making them same mistakes that he made. And then we'll sit back and watch you or call you out or send you out to make some of them same dumb mistakes. Because he don't want to go out there and do it. Be wary of the ones right there. Everybody don't deserve this title as OG. Everybody don't deserve that title as Unk. Some guys, and I, and I often like to say, if you find a guy 40 years or older, and he's still acting like he, you know, he ain't got no say, he's still making dumb choices, dumb decisions, nine times out of ten, that person's going to be dumb the rest of his life, man. I'm just going to be, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I ain't going to cut no cards, man. Because at the age of 40, you should have things figured out, man. You should be, you in the, basically you in the fourth quarter. If you put it in football terms. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, that's that's part of the end of the game, man. So, that's my example. That's my uh, explanation of what a real OG is, man. I hope that y'all look at me and I hope that I represent that title correctly. And I hope y'all benefit from my videos. Like I say, man, y'all check my books out. Y'all follow me on all platforms, man. Give me that love so I can keep pouring that love back out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Talk to my young street guys. This is another episode of Street Code of Conduct. This is your boy OG Jigavelli. Y'all tap in. Y'all share. Y'all like. Y'all comment. Let me know what y'all need, man. And I'll try to put some G on it, man. You know what I mean? That's what I'm here for. I'm your own. I'm your OG. And I ain't going to call you to nothing but success. I ain't going to call you to nothing but being your best. Y'all tap in.